Namaste to everyone. Hope you are well. So today I am going to explain you about one pranayam that is called Bhastrika pranayam. Bhastrika pranayam is one of the ancient traditional and lineage pranayam that is mentioned in different different texts. Okay. So today we are going to talk about this. Before that, I will explain you about the breath. This is the navel, the center of the body. Navel is the center of the body. You can also say the face of the body. From the navel down, apana area. Navel and half of the stomach, samana area. And chest, lungs, prana area. So, below the navel, this is the area of Kapal Bhati. Above the navel, this is the area of Samanavayu, okay? Which is, we are including also, which we are practicing in Bhastrika also. And this is the Bhastrika Pranayam. Kapal Bhati, below the navel, chest, Bhastrika. Okay? So, whenever we breathe, whenever we breathe, Normally, how we breathe? We breathe with the chest, or sometimes we breathe from the whole body, navel and whole body we used. But in Bhastrika Pranaya, we try to use this area more. So, one mistake which we do in Bhastrika Pranaya, when we breath, this we are using. We are still using below the navel this area. So, Bhastrika Pranaya makes sure. We need to be very careful that which part of the body I'm using in Bhastrika. So make sure Bhastrika is more from the chest. So if you're doing Bhastrika, the chest is going like this. Kapal Bhati. Bhastrika. Kapal Bhati. Okay. So in Bhastrika, we have to be make sure one action to be done in this whole process. What is this action? Whenever we do Bhastrika, our spine is fully extended. Why? Because if the spine is not extended, so what will happen when you do now? Normally, you will start nicely. But after some time, when you are not conscious about the physical cell, then we start to include our belly into it. So after a few time, it becomes like this. This happens in most of us. We think that we are having the benefits of Vastrika, but actually you are still doing Kapal Bhati process. So these all small, small thing that we have to make sure that we are more focusing on them. So I'm giving you one technique. There are many variations of it. I'm giving you one variation of Pastrika. You will try this. But first, you will place the hand fingers like this way. You will press the fingers step down and extend the spine. So when you extend the spine, what will happen? When we extend the spine, the body have one uh, process whenever the spine goes like this because of as a, because of the vacuum process our belly our navel goes in it sucked in okay so how much the spine will go like this my belly will go in it's like this okay? so if I'm raising my arm my spine is my belly is going inside you see If I'm dropping my arm down, my belly goes out. So whenever the arm is down, belly is more relaxed. And whenever the belly is relaxed, in Bhastika process, automatically after some time, because we are not conscious, you will we will start to we start to include the belly movement. So belly is totally far from Bhastika. So that's why I'm saying Bhastika Pranayam without spine extension, we cannot do. And that is the reason Bhastrika and any other pranayam can be only in lotus position or Vajrasana. 
because in these two positions spine is quite extended and with the finger we are trying to extend them so when you do bhastrika try to press the fingers extend it look front and then use the chest breathing where the belly is already sucked in so you cannot use the muscles of the belly now so you are used more using the chest area so let me tell you last time press the fingers extend the spine by pressing the finger so belly is more in and then relax the neck and now chest breathing <sighs> Hope you understand. Try now. I'll explain you more detail, more explanation with more variation in the next video.